Escaping wounds and a painful recovery surrounded by some mystery. A handful of islanders are blaming a reclusive spider for what could be some nasty bites. KITV Force Laurie Amata traveled to the Garden Isle to see what has some desperate for answers and a warning tonight. Some of the pictures in this story are graphic. A Kauai woodworker and landscaper. Every morning, I, lately, I go over myself. And Tommy Taylor is used to scrapes, bites, and bruises, but he says more recently, he, his co workers, Come here, buddy. even his dog Anvil, have been dealing with something far beyond the ordinary. It's healing, um, almost completely healed up. Taylor says Anvil's been bit at least four times, and he's been on the hunt ever since, keeping a sharp eye on spiders. I caught one in my workshop the other day and I didn't have a jar. As for the humans, here's a nasty wound on one of his co workers' heads. It rotted like a gunshot hole in my leg, bro. And last year, scars still visible. It was just eating into there. Something brought Ray Kleiman down for two weeks. And once I picked that open, it just turned like rock hard and day by day got worse and worse, even with a good diet. On Oahu, check out this gory sore on Dr. Terry Skillman. She's convinced what's called a Mediterranean recluse, or sometimes a brown violin spider, bit her in her Kalihi home. The Department of Agriculture has confirmed cases of the Mediterranean recluse, cousin to the more dangerous brown recluse, on the Big Island, Maui, and Kauai. The first case more than 30 years ago. There are over 240 species of spider in Hawaii. The Department of Ag believes this one is a relatively harmless brown house spider. It's a miserable experience. UHC Tar Insect Museum director Dan Rubinoff adds a dose of skepticism to both cases. They're very shy spiders. The problem is that unless you actually catch the spider and even catch it in the act, it's hard to demonstrate that the spider was, was in fact responsible for whatever wound you're looking at. Rubinoff says it's possible spiders bit Taylor and others, but he's more convinced it's an infection, little fire ants or centipedes. If you attack them, one of the things they'll do is lift their rear, and these two uh, palps at the end here are extended to look like a fake head. Uh, apparently, this is close to a mature size. But after getting bitten pretty much every day, Taylor is in full research mode, and he says green papaya has become his miracle cure. He believes the enzymes in the fruit neutralize the bad stuff and prevent a nasty wound. If only he and others knew for sure what's causing it. My motivation is to get the word out there. We're all super concerned and, and trying to get to the bottom of this. Laura Yamada, KITV4 News. Wow. Scary stuff. Uh, yeah, the Department of Health says that there's no solid research that papaya enzymes stop the damage from a spider bite. As for what's biting, Rubinoff says that you'll know if you've been bitten by a centipede or a little fire ant, but he says that recluse spiders have weak fangs, so chances are you won't feel it, but you will start feeling the pain two to three days later as the venom soaks in. Those images so frightening, and here's something to think about. Recluse spiders typically hang out where their food sources are. That's termites and roaches, so without the spiders, you might end up with more of those.